Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm doing a video on the bags I have never carried. And I was just trying them on and I am totally shocked and just, just thrown for a loop about what I'm about to tell you because I can't believe it. There are two bags in here that I could have sworn I would never have parted ways with. And I tried it on, and it, this isn't the first time I felt this way, but I've finally come to the conclusion that I have to let the two bags that I love very much go. And let me start with that. And that one is, one of them is such a shocker to me because I, it was so hard to get this bag, and I've wanted it for so long. But it's my beautiful... And be, I mean really beautiful page 27 absolutely perfect never carried this bag but every, you know I've tried it on before and I didn't like how it felt and but doing this video I set everything up and I tried everything on before I started filming and yeah this strap and my shoulders not a good combination I, I really can't keep a bag that falls off my shoulders. And this slips off my shoulder. And I'm thinking it's the width of this strap is probably what causes it, because I have a very thin shoulder, very narrow. And when it's a thicker strap than where it would normally sit, it just slides down. I've had that issue with the coach, um, what is it called? The, co the coach uh, bucket bag. I, I loved that bag and wanted to get it, and I did get it, and I just couldn't keep it because it kept sliding down. And I'm having this with this, and I'm really upset because I love this bag. This is so beautiful. This is natural pebble leather, glove tan pebble leather. It's a 1941 bag, and I don't know if you could see it, but yeah, I, I've never worn it. I took everything out of it to show you what it looks like inside. It, this is it's brass and it has the brass rivets. And inside is what you would find in a row. This material is where the middle of the bag. It's so roomy for a small bag. It have, behind this middle cent, centerpiece here, there is a big pocket that goes the length of the of the back of the bag and this is all leather inside except for this fabric and the same thing with the opposite side it has all leather huge pocket over there plus a a pocket that has a, a snap in the middle a slip pocket and this side has a zippered pocket let me open it really really nice still have everything on this that it came wrapped up in I only took the I only unstuffed it now to show you guys and I am really sad to say this because I wanted this bag for so long and it just doesn't sit right on me now somebody told me that I could use the straps from uh, which bag is that I forgot the name of it I, it's, I don't even have it right now because I, I gave it to be repaired and um, I can't I can't think of the name of it but it, it's also a black bag and it's a thinner strap and it's a it would make it into a crossbody but I'm, I'm not going to do that the beauty of this bag a lot of the beauty of this bag is the rivets and the tea roses which are here tea roses here and tea roses, uh, the grommets are tea roses. And there's tea roses on each side. Plus the 1941 tag. And I just can't believe I'm saying it. But I really, I just made up my mind that I just don't want to deal with a bag that is uncomfortable for me or slips constantly, which 
would really not want, I would not want to carry that. It would drive me crazy picking it up all the time. I would be really annoyed with it. So this is one of the bags I have never carried and it's a good thing I haven't because I'm most likely not going to keep it. Another bag that I'm also shocked about and it's my newest bag. And I can't believe that I, I, I feel this way also is this duffel. By the way, this duffel has the exact same strap in, in the same length as the page 27. So you could actually use them interchangeably, except this one is plain without the uh, grommets being the T rows. But it's the same length, it's a 13 and a half inch drop. And this one I have set at the shortest. And this one I have set at the shortest also. This, they're both set at the shortest because I feel that I can handle short bags on my shoulder because I hold them. But this one is also constantly falling off my shoulder. And I love this bag. I love this leather. I love this leather. And it also has, it's a, also a 1941 bag. It has the 1941, where is it? It has a 1941 uh, tank tag. And I, I, here it is. This was, it was inside the bag. And it's the brass chunky hardware. I love chunky hardware. And it too has the same kind of material as the page 27. And I have a small Samorga organizer in here, which is actually too small. You have to get, I would have to get one if I kept it that fits better. However, I found with this organizer, when I was trying it on, if I put a, a like a cosmetic case in that center, in that part that isn't, that doesn't have the, the um, organizer in it, it gives it a little more structure. So you, you could work it like this. Or if you don't want structure, that's good too. I wanted a little structure, but not too much. Another thing with this bag, and why I have to, why I'm going to sell it, is because the, the, the how it drapes it on my bag. See this patch? This is making one side look more structured. Now that would be fine if that could, if that was the back and stayed on my shoulder like that. But it's not because here is the, the um, tassel and when you close it, it just doesn't have the right drape. The drape is over here and I cannot get it to drape the other way. So if, if I'm carrying it, it's going to look more like this with the bulk of the bag being pushing into my body instead of this way, which this can be draped. This side gets draped. Some bags, and I found that in the, uh, the Clarks and Hobo, Hobo rather. Uh, I had a couple of Clarks and Hobos initially because they had the drape on the wrong side. And finally, I got one that was right. And I don't know if it bothers anyone else or anybody else even notices. But yeah, that's how, this is the front for me. Not everybody, all, all the bags come out differently. And this would be the back. So I can't believe I'm going to sell this as well because I love this bag. But uh, I just can't carry anything that falls off my shoulder, like I said. And this I have to wear backwards. So it's hard to explain, but if you if you saw it, you would see what I. Yeah, that's the front. This is the back, which should be the front. Even when there, there's things inside it, I put things inside it to see if it would change, and it didn't. 
It's just draping the wrong way. So that I haven't used this either. This came from the outlet and it's gorgeous. This leather is so beautiful. It's a big disappointment. I'm really disappointed. Another bag I haven't carried yet is my black rogue. And where is it? Here's the hang tag. And I do have the tag on it also. Here is that. And the, this is another bag that I might be selling to. Not because it has anything wrong with the way I carry it. It doesn't slip off my shoulder. These straps are comfortable. They're thin, they stay there. And if they don't stay there, they're easy for me to stay there because for me to hold it like this and make sure it doesn't stay there because they're thinner and just the straps are just right on this. I really like the rogues, but I never went to carry it. And I have three rogues and I just don't think I need three ro three rogues. I think the two that I do have that and have, and have carried could suffice me because I know that some people are looking for black. A friend of mine is looking for black rogues. I have no way to get in touch with her. Her name is Gina. Gina, if you're watching, I have no way to get in touch with you. So I hope you, if you're still interested, you, I hope you contact me before I actually sell it. But it's a gorgeous bag and the leather is scrumptious. And in my opinion, you could walk, I think, from all the stores I've been in that had have designers, uh, premium designers where the, the bags are very expensive. I don't see any leather that beats rogue leather. I really don't. I'm not saying it's better, but it's it's not inferior. Rogue leather is just as good as any other, any premium designer leather in my opinion. So, I love the rogues, but I don't think I need three, especially since I've never touched it and I have it several months already. Okay, the, the bags that I'm absolutely keeping is this for sure, and I've never carried it either, but that's because I haven't gone anywhere nice enough to carry it. I'm not taking this, and no offense to Walmart, but I'm not taking this to Walmart or even to just shop anywhere. I want to go, like Macy's, I'm not taking it shopping. I want to use it in, you know, to go somewhere, you know, as an occasion because it's just too beautiful. It's not, it's not an, to me, it's not an everyday bag, is what I'm trying to say. And I, I really love it. I love the chain, it's comfortable. I, it doesn't annoy me, it doesn't fall down. It's just, throw it on and it looks good to me. Love this bag. And this is the Riley 22 in coated canvas, uh, signature uh, leather with the um, smooth leather trim. This is the inside and this leather in here feels so luxurious. Really rich. It's like, it's not a, it's not a burgundy. It's maybe like a wine. So soft and smooth, just beautiful. I fell in love with it trying it on in the store. My husband said, I've said it before, my husband said, oh no, that's too small for you. It's perfect for me. It holds the exact same amount as a Tabby 26. And I've downsized for my other, for my Tabby 26, so it's no effort going into this bag. Love it. And last but not least is my Neverfull. I've never worn this. It still has the, all the crinkles that come with it. It's been stuffed for two months already. And I just have, well, I think we've been in the house almost two months or a month and a half in Washington. We've been in the house 
maybe five weeks by now. Yeah. And this is my never fill full. And I am looking forward to carrying this someday <laughs> when it's all clear. And this has the, the beige inside and a pouch that it comes with. And that's my never fill. So these are the five bags I have never carried. I actually had six bags, but I, before this video, was I, before I was able to film this video, I sold it, which was, which is the um, feel tote in the, the print with the horse and carriage and no design on it. I have a couple of videos on it. I absolutely, absolutely love that bag. But uh, again, I just uh, did not have the uh, reason to carry it in my life. So I didn't have so many totes. And I, I just wanted to, you know, give it to somebody else and I don't you know I just didn't need to carry it I have too much and I'm trying to downsize a little bit and only have the bags that actually work for me if it doesn't work for me if I don't look forward to carrying it if should the handles fall off or they're uncomfortable or heavy I I want to sell it and start again so that is my video on these bags. I hope everybody is doing well and everybody's healthy and I hope, I believe that we might be coming to the to an end of this to uh, end uh, to a precautionary period and I'm very much looking forward to that. This entire time my hubby has been home and it's been, if he wasn't home it would have really been harder for me but because I have him here in the daytime it's been like a long vacation and it's been wonderful because we, we never had time together like this before so it's been great so thank you everybody for watching you take care and i will see you guys in the next video i love you guys take good care and i miss you bye bye